Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I'm showing you all of my personal favorite prepper items at the Dollar Tree. I am having some technical difficulties um, as well as just some, I don't know, I, I guess pregnancy related, not complications, but I'm trying to film some videos because I just have a gut feeling that this baby may be coming a bit earlier than we expected. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to happen, but if I uh, ghost you all, meaning if I leave for a little bit of time, please know that I'm okay. I will try and keep everyone posted, but it's been a day. So I went to the Dollar Tree a few days ago. I've meant to film this and my goal was to find 10 items. See, I don't know. I'm on a different camera. Um, I don't know if I'm in focus, but hopefully I am. My goal is to find 10 items that are my most favorite things to get at the Dollar Tree. Um, I've done some lists before at the Dollar Tree and I always get that one comment saying, you know, it's, it's worthless to buy things at the Dollar Tree because they're cheap. I think, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, it's better than nothing. So you'll find some items on here that yes, if you get a quality product, of course that's gonna be better. But these products are better than nothing and there's a lot of us that are on a budget. So I hope that is helpful. Sorry for the long intro. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Tori. I am a wife, mother of almost three and we do prepping life on a budget. I show you how to prepare yourself and your family for emergencies on a budget. I think it's so important, especially now during the times of uncertainty. And I hope you give us a follow. I hope you subscribe and just become part of our family. Our subscribers come from all walks of life and I love them all. So they are a wealth of knowledge. If you have any questions, I will try and answer them in the comments, but I'm sure someone will get back to you. So without further ado, I have my bag right next to me here and I have one item that I set up if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw it. I'm very, very excited about this item, which gives me my shameless plug. If you want to follow me on Instagram, go right ahead. It's not a huge community, but it's a good time. So if you want to do that, if you're an Instagrammer, go ahead over and give us a follow over there. I have my bag to my side and I'm just going to grab from it. I don't have anything in order here. So let's see. It's just a bag of wonders here. Ooh, first one, strike on matches. Let's see here. This is the 300 count, the large kitchen matches, $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. I know you can get these cheaper at Walmart for 97 cents, but if you factor in gas, Dollar Tree was closer. So matches, I love them. I would prefer them to be waterproof though. For the sake of the video, I went ahead and grabbed these and for the sake of my pantry, but I, um, you know, they do have waterproof and I think they're, they're better. So if you can find waterproof, grab those. Matches are awesome. Starting fires are fun. Uh, if you keep them contained and irresponsible, but I love having a good old fire. So I wanted to include that. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. Aha. I found it. Okay. The family size mashed potatoes, the, uh, I don't know, the dehydrated, potatoes. They are cheaper at the Dollar Tree, so I grabbed a few packs of these, but these are awesome to keep in a bug out bag because you can thicken things with them. It could be a nice side to a can of chili, which I have in here too, but I think it's lightweight and all you need is some boiling water. So you can do a lot with these mashed potatoes. I've done a lot with these mashed potatoes. I really like to cook and sometimes I document that. So if you want to check out those videos, they're all linked in my budget meals, but I grabbed these mashed potatoes and I think you should too. Next up, self-watering plant, uh, I guess planting pots. I'm gonna take my seeds that I started and move them on over to here, but this year uh, they're in a three pack and they have the self-watering in here, so it's really nice. I went ahead and got, I thought I got another one. I did, I did get another one. Um, I got the this color too, just to jazz it up, you never know. Those are nice colors, I feel like Dollar Tree did good with their planting this year. So you will hear me say this from time and time again if you're new here, but I love planting our own food. I love growing our own food. I think it's really important, especially now. Uh, I try and go for organic because I don't trust what they're spraying on our food, to be quite frank with you, but 
that is why I grow my own food. And we don't have the longest growing season here in Colorado. I'm 5B, but sometimes we get random snowstorms in June. So I can do everything I can to direct sow, but I do like seed starting. So these are nice little transfer pots until I can get them into the ground. Next up is that chili that I was talking about. I found this all beef chili with beans and let's read the ingredients we shall see here. This is made in Nashville, Tennessee. We have water, beef, beans, food starch, soy protein, mm, caramel color, chili pepper, tomato paste, salt. I mean, other than the soy protein, I feel like this is okay. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, but let's see, total calories, 290. So that's key if you're having a bug out bag and you need to pack in some calories. The protein in here is 13 grams, that's pretty good. Uh, the sodium, however, is 720, so you're definitely going to need uh, some water in your bug out bag. I have videos on bug out bags and how we stay prepared in the event of an emergency. This isn't always, all the time, SHTF, which stands for SHIT, hit the fan. I'm not planning for an apocalypse, I'm just planning for an emergency. You never know what's going to happen. So we experienced a tornado about a year or two ago and ever since then I just get nervous. I don't know with any natural disaster we're right next to a major river. You don't know what could happen. So it's nice to have a bug out bag. It gives me a sense of security to easily grab and go what we need. So chili is a good one. They also have vegetarian as well but that has an increased amount of soy in there. I'm not too big of a fan of soy. So I would opt for just a can of beans or something like that if you're not a meat eater. Next up on the list is a little bit different. It's Epsom salt, um, $1.25. This is a great uh, value for the two pounds of Epsom salt, but magnesium has amazing benefits and I feel like everyone should have it on their prepper counter, um, especially if you are you know, going to have to be off grid, uh, you're gonna need a foot soak, honestly. Magnesium really helps with my migraines as well, so a lot of different uses for magnesium. Epsom salt, uh, I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole with you, but uh, I think it's really helpful, and this is a great price for this, and it's only one ingredient. Sometimes they sneak in some artificial uh, scents in there, which aren't the best for us, especially in this day and age, so. Epsom salt's a good one. I suggest you pick it up. Another thing that I got were the seed starter pots, and these are the ones that you can just put right into the ground. My son is going to have his own garden this year. We tried last year, but he really enjoyed digging up the seeds that he planted, so they never actually germinated. But this year, he's four. He's ready. He's excited to grow his veggies and fruits and grains, so I got him his own little setup. So I do have quite a bit of garden stuff in here, but I really think that everyone can uh, easily grow their own food. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. I have uh, the wing it method in my garden where sometimes I just throw seeds on the ground and see what happens because seeds are inexpensive and it's fun to grow things. It's fun to care for things, really, truly. Um, I'm not just saying that as a mother, I'm saying that as a human being. Just growing something and caring for it for your own hands just does the body good, I promise you, so give it a shot. Next on the list, super glue. I always get a pack of super glue. I don't know if you can find this cheaper. It's $1.25. You can do a lot with super glue. You could even take a small wound and seal it up. Um, it could be like a liquid stitch. I learned that in the hospital. My husband enjoyed uh, riding BMX and I remember vaguely one time him falling and me meeting him at the hospital. He had a huge head gash and they just used super glue and I have held on to that ever since then. I am from a small town. I don't know if that's classic everywhere, but it was helpful and it stopped the blood. So that's a good one. Another thing that you could use to stop blood though is growing yarrow in your garden, drying it down, making it into a powder and then putting it on the wound. So I just want to put that in there. I am into medicinal herbs and gardening. So that's always a good one too. Another one that I haven't seen in a while are these awesome magic towels and I will insert a photo of what they look like when the water gets to them. Is it going to focus back on me? I am, I'm hoping I'm in focus. I don't know. But um, 
I will insert a photo of what these look like when water gets to them, but essentially it's a very compacted towel. You just add some water to it, and I think these are great to have in the bug out bags. They're usually in the kids section, so you get little characters and things like that, but I'm sure you could find just basic ones on Amazon. So I always like to have these in the car or in my purse. Just, you never know, you never know. Um, kids are messy, but so am I. <laughs> So are adults, so I always like to have them as well. Next on the list are these swing top jars. Uh, they are $1.25, and I like to store my dried herbs in there. You can store some dried beans, rices, things like that. So I always find that having a good seal on a container is awesome for a prepper pantry, not necessarily your long-term storage, like 20 years plus, but even two years, this will be fine. Give it a nice wash, and these are an awesome price. I get mine typically at Hobby Lobby when they go on sale, but they're not always on sale. So I did wanna include this. I got these um, just so I can store some of my dried herbs and flowers that I didn't get to that are still hanging and drying in my garage and they are just fine. They are dust proof and everything, but I needed to get them processed and on my apothecary shelf. Another favorite of mine are these glow bracelets. You could find these at Michael's as well, and they're pretty inexpensive, but I like to have these in case of emergency with my kids. You never know if your car is gonna break down. Put these on your kids' uh, arms and legs if you're on the side of the road and you need to exit the vehicle. Um, if ever you're in the woods, we love to put these on the kids if we're camping just so we know where they are. Typically, we like to use these in glow stick baths for the kids, but these are nice to have in the event of an emergency. I think they're great for just about anyone, and Dollar Tree has so many different varieties. Um, I just went ahead and grabbed the bracelets this time with the connectors. Next on the list are seeds. I was talking to someone on here. Shout out to you. I, I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry. I'm usually good at that, but you get your seeds at the Dollar Tree. They are four for a dollar. So on here, I went ahead and got four. I I picked random ones. Actually, my son did because these are for his garden, but he got the Bachelor Button Blue Boys. They are non-GMO seeds, and that's debatable. Again, not gonna go into that. Um, some people prefer non-GMO. Some people do not. Some people think it's a gimmick. It's it's a whole thing. We also got some dill. We also got some yellow Cherokee wax beans. And then we got some beets. He loves beets, so do I. We like dyeing things with beets, but we also like eating them, so they're nice to have as well. Um, but for, for a dollar, you really can't beat it. And they have other things. You know, they have your classic tomatoes, peppers, things like that, but we are covered on those seeds. So I just kept it pretty light, which is new for me because if you're new here, I love gardening, I love seeds. So yes, I was excited that I, you know, really stayed focused in those aisles and didn't buy all the seeds. Another favorite are the Kojak Pinto beans. I know it's silly, but this brand specifically is really good for me. And I have a bunch of Mylar bags that I just like to get off the shelf. So they are, they're empty, but I'm gonna just fill up some Mylar with these Pinto beans. And 16 ounces a pound for $1.25 is pretty decent. You can find them at Walmart for a better price. But again, Walmart was not as close as Dollar Tree this time. They typically have a northern bean at my Dollar Tree and then a red kidney bean as well. But if you are new to the dried bean game and uh, you wanna find them on the cheap, try the Dollar Tree. All right, next up on the list, I will preach this and preach this, this eight in one multi-use knife. I grew up around knives, it's gonna, it sounds strange, I know. My dad really loves knives, pocket knives of all sorts, so I, I grew up around them, I, I, I knew how to use them, we teach my son how to use them, he loves it, and I think they're a great tool to have. I personally like the brand Benchmade, those knives are amazing, they're very well made, and I think they work well, but I do not have it in the budget to buy a bunch of Benchmades, and this was the comment I got probably a year ago about getting a Dollar Tree knife, and this is better than nothing. I will preach it to the end, honestly. I mean, 
it, it's better than nothing. And this one is the eight in one multi-use tool. They also have a larger knife that sticks out and that you would have better control if you were using it in a self-defense situation. Um, but let's not go down that road. I'm just talking about having a multi-use tool because this has the bottle opener on there, the flat screwdriver, corkscrew, Phillips, a nail file, a knife. It has scissors on here. So this is a good one, but check out their tool selection because they have a bunch of stuff. They even have an ax in there. I don't know if that would fall apart, but you never know. And it's better than nothing. I think that's the last time I'll say it, but that's always a good one to grab. And then last but not least are these garden shears. I was pruning my roses. I use roses medicinally and they're beautiful to look at, but I was pruning them and my shears fell apart. So I grabbed another one and these are great for just about anything, but they work well and uh, they have different colors if you need it. But I did want to include this on the list because you can use pruning shears for a lot of different things. But if you are cutting your roses back, which you need to really if you want your roses to flourish and keep growing. Um, well, I guess it depends on what kind of roses you have, but with my bushes, they need a haircut every now and again, probably every season, just so we can get the best abundance out of them. So I did want to include this one. I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you the last thing on the list, but I uh, I was excited to find this. I see these um, sponsorships that companies do with larger YouTubers, and I will say a bit of jealousy sparks in me, but I'm getting there. My goal is to work with companies and brands that I believe in, but I did find a dupe for one of these things, and I know it's been everywhere, but I'm really excited that I got my hands on these, so let's head downstairs and I'll show you what I got. Here it is. I can't really say the company that it's a dupe for, uh, but that one is 150 I think, and this one cost me $12.50, so I got 10 of these, and uh, they have those different colors. I was told that I was lucky I got there when I did, so I'm definitely going to go back, but this is perfect for strawberries. I think it's really going to work. I'm going to get it onto some base because it does get quite windy here in Colorado, and I just feel even with dirt, I don't think it will stay afloat so uh, I'm not really sure if you have any suggestions for the base let me know but I did want to include this again I got 10 of them you can stack them way higher than that if you want perfect for strawberries but really I'm gonna try everything I can because I have plans for the raised beds out there I can I think if I priced it out it would be $21 because all you really need is seven cedar fence posts and they're pretty cheap, especially if you go to Home Depot, you can find them on the cheap as well. So if you're interested in that journey, let me know and I will show you how I build my cedar boxes for super cheap because I'm excited to do it. I feel like I can do it well, but my husband is more of a perfectionist. So maybe we'll do a challenge, him versus me. Um, I guarantee a lot of you will side with his but yes this is my little dupe and you can find them at the dollar tree perfect for vertical gardening please don't mind the mess but here are the seedlings right now at least not, oh okay so i was trying to show you the seedlings but the light was being like super flashy i didn't want to give anyone a seizure over here but i went outside and it's pretty loud but Anyways, I wanted to show you the garden right now. It looks a mess, but that is the garden box. Don't mind the chicken. I feel like this is going to be a good setup, and uh, I feel like it will work for us. So we're planning on doing eight boxes across here, and hopefully it will work. But this is what we have going on. Kids are coming inside with their dad here, and I'm going to hope that chicken does not uh, fly over the fence. We shall see, though. Alrighty, friends, someone wants to be held, but um, that is going to, yeah, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope this gave you some ideas to shop on the cheap at the Dollar Tree. I'm hoping you have one in your area. I know they do an online ordering system, so that's possible too. You just have to check it out. Again, if you're new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we will catch you on the next one. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and we'll see you next time. Can you say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs>